Hi there, my name is Alex and I welcome you on Cat About Quick Tips and Tricks. Today we will talk about such a useful NX feature which called Remember Constraints. This function is very helpful uh, if it's about the making of an assembly which contains uh, a lot of identical parts. For example, you are working on the assembly which utilizes a lot of fasteners. Almost all of them have an identical assembly constraints. As for bolts, usually it has two constraints, uh, align, lock and touch. So in this example I created uh, two parts, the bottom plate and the upper plate. As you see both of them has uh, holes and uh, we will place a bolt in its holes. That's why I go to assemblies tab, click on add button and uh, from the loaded parts list I select my bolt. Be sure that you chose uh, the placement positioning type by constraints. Click OK and uh, now we have to define which geometrical constraints will be applied to our bolt. The first one should be a line lock which prevents the rotational degree of freedom for our bolt. That's why I should select uh, a bolt axis, the center line and the axis of hold to place. done. And the second constraint should be touch and I will choose this face and this one. Click OK. As you see the component was added to our assembly. Now we need to remember each, each constraint. It has two constraints and now it has no any degrees of freedom. This component is fully constrained. Now goes to assembly step and select the remember constraints feature. We have to select a component, the bolt and constraints to be remembered. We are able to choose it from the assembly navigator from the under the constraints tab we see the list of all constraints applied to our assembly and I choose the line lock the first one and touch the second one click OK and uh, then go to file save save all. Note, you have to have a right uh, for editing your component, your part. In other case, uh, the constraints won't be remembered. As you see in this part we have three more holes which should be filled with bolt. Go to assembly step, click on the add button and choose our bolt once again. Click OK and we see a new window. Uh, it called redefine constraints. That means that constraints were remembered, and now we have to only choose the geometry to, to place it, to give it a position. Then I choose uh, the axis and uh, a face to touch with and click OK. As you see, the component was placed. No, it's not necessary to define the type of constraints and the quantity of constraints when we add it for the second time, because all the constraints were remembered, remembered in the component, on the component level. 
in other case we will add uh, this component the Dean bolt to any another assembly it will show us uh, the same window redefine constraints and we will be able uh, to choose only the basic constraints geometry I think that uh, it's a pretty simple feature and uh, it, it's very helpful especially in the assemblies uh, which utilizes a lot of fasteners I hope this example was helpful for you thank you for watching subscribe my channel and goodbye